Tens of thousands evacuated in central China as Henan province races for more heavy rain and flooding. Questions are now being asked about whether China's big cities can be better prepared for extreme weather. Our correspondent Olivia Siong uh, has been trying to make her way to Henan. Uh, Oli, it's been a long affair for you, day long in fact. Uh, how close have you gotten to Ground Zero? Well, Joe, right now where we are, we are in Xinjiang City, which is a small city north of Zhengzhou, which is the provincial capital of Henan province. And it really has been a day-long affair. We began our journey from Beijing here early in the morning, but we were faced with multiple train cancellations. And it was extremely difficult to get tickets for these trains because um, many of these trains had been cancelled due to the bad weather that has started to move north from Zhengzhou since yesterday. And so, you know, trains were stop and go. There were many delays. But finally, after more than 15 hours of traveling, uh, we have made it here. And I just want to show you what's happening. Not too long ago, we had been evacuated from the train station here in Xinjiang on an excavator. We actually had to stand on it with our luggage and our equipment as well. And that excavator brought us through. It's too dark right now because the street lamps are out, but we had been, uh, had to be brought through very deep water and along the way what we saw were cars that were submerged as well as you know uh, just really very deep water it would have been impossible to walk through this as well and you know many people on the train were telling me that they were hoping to get home because even though they have seen the news and the devastation in Henan province, they want to get home to their families. They are worried. Um, and they have also heard, you know, news that some of them are saying that they had, uh, you know, the leaking in their homes as well. And so far, what we do know is that in Xinjiang over here, uh, 470,000 people have been affected uh, by the heavy downpour that we have seen in this region. And along the way, along the on the train, we also continue to see uh, farmland being inundated with water. Some of the villages submerged. We could only see their roofs or even trees where we could only see the tips of the trees. So really speaking of this unprecedented heavy rainfall uh, that Henan province is having to deal with. Uh, and are things expected to get even worse over the next few days? Well, the weather forecast does seem to say that, you know, the rain ha is going to get lighter. It's not raining now at the moment, but perhaps the bigger issue is the aftermath that we are talking about. There are still flood waters here in Xinjiang. I'm told that there are still some flood waters all the way up to chest high. And so that's something that people have to deal with. Uh, there's no electricity in some parts of the town. And in other parts of Henan as well, um, there are landslides that we are talking about and um, damage to property, cars that have been abandoned because they've just been soaked and unable to move um, from where they had been parked when these heavy rains hit. Um, so that is the physical aftermath that people have to deal with. The other thing is perhaps the psychological aftermath. Many people are asking questions, especially after that very tragic incident that we saw, uh, you know, that of, uh, you know, people being trapped on that subway in Zhengzhou, which became flooded with these rain waters. About a dozen people died because they had been trapped and were not able to be rescued in time. And people are asking, how is it possible that this could have happened? Why were the subways still allowed to run um, in the midst of such heavy rain? The other question that people have told me was that they seem to have been taken by surprised by the floods that came, even though they had expected heavy rainfall. And these are all questions that authorities will have to 
continue to address moving forward. And then is, of course, uh, you know, questions about, uh, you know, how these areas which are more prone to floods, because flooding is common during the summer periods, how can these areas continue to be better prepared, especially as we see the effects of climate change taking place? Jill? Olivia Siong uh, in a very flooded Henan province, uh, China. Thank you for that report. Uh, let's go now to an expert who tells us how climate change is driving the unprecedented flooding. For Chen Zhou's case, this is uh, actually a record-breaking rainfall that took place in the inland city in China. Um, they not only break the record of Chen Zhou per se, also break the record of China mainland. So um, you can hardly imagine such a devastating precipitation took place in the inner city, in the land city, that they lack the experience and lack the capacity to tackle such severe disasters. Our, our report not only examined the heat wave, also examined the extreme rainfall in major city clusters in China. We noticed that the climate change is the leading driving force that caused the increasing of the frequency and the intensity of extreme weather events like heat wave and like the heavy precipitation in almost all major cities in China. And climate change is now the big threat to all cities.